The film begins with a scene in a recording studio. Singer Tammy is recording a song written by her husband and producer Charles. Charles has a son Jay from his first marriage who is passionate about basketball. Tammy has a very good relationship with him. Jay's mother Deidre has completed a course of psychological treatment and now wishes to have full custody of her son. Tammy's sister Pam, who is a lawyer, mentions that Deidre has completed parenting courses, has her own place and a steady job as a waitress. To avoid going to court, Pam suggests they talk to Deidre. Charles invites Deidre to his home for a meeting, and they agree that Jay will spend nights at his mother's place. The next day Deidre arrives to pick up Jay and discreetly takes some of Tammy's personal belongings. Deidre thanks Tammy for taking care of Jay and suggests meeting up later in the evening. Deidre reveals that she once tried to become a singer and even recorded some of Charles' songs. Deidre decides to drop her pursuit of full custody in court and submits her statement to Tammy. Their friendly farewell is interrupted by a neighbor's barking dog, which frightens Tammy. In reality, Tammy's new song and her photos with Charles irritate Deidre. The woman conducts a hot photoshoot wearing Tammy's clothes and posts the photos on a dating website, adding Tammy's face using deepfake technology. Impersonating Tammy, Deidre meets a man named Zeke on the dating app and immediately suggests meeting at her house. Using Jay's phone, Deidre finds Charles' number and takes advantage of Jay having keys to Charles and Tammy's house. In an attempt to create discord between Charles and Tammy, Deidre sends a package to their house on behalf of one of Charles's ex-girlfriends and sends romantic messages to his phone. Afterward, Deidre drops Jay off and leaves the house key under the doormat. Tammy notices the same handwriting on the letter and the contract Deidre gave her, meanwhile Zeke arrives. Tammy is forced to defend herself against the unfamiliar man who used the key under the doormat to enter. Using Zeke's phone, Tammy calls the number of the fake Tammy. There is no response, but the barking dog gives away Deidre's location. Detective Fletcher becomes suspicious of how Zeke knew Tammy's address, used the key and had a previous conversation with her. Tammy claims it's all fake. Pam arrives to rescue her sister from uncomfortable questions. She and Charles support Tammy's suspicions about Deidre. Detective Fletcher visits Deidre, who claims she knows nothing and was with her son the previous night. The detective leaves his business card. Deidre smashes her phone and starts deleting the fake Tammy account from the dating website. Jay sees this. She shows her son the detective's business card and lies about helping with an investigation. Deidre says she is also in danger. Jay refuses to go home. Tammy suggests Charles go after him. Pam finds the fake Tammy account on the dating website. The police have traced the IP address to Deidre's home. The fact that Charles gave Tammy a song that was originally intended for Deidre further destabilizes her fragile mental state. Deidre knocks out Charles and flees with Jay. Charles regains consciousness when Tammy calls. Deidre gives her son a sedative and then attacks Pam near her house. However, Pam manages to survive. Deidre calls Tammy and says that she'll only talk to her without witnesses if Tammy wants to see Jay again. 
Tammy makes up an excuse to get away from Detective Fletcher and Charles and calls Deidre back. They agree to meet, and Tammy arrives with a baseball bat, but after an unexpected attack from Deidre, Tammy finds herself tied up. Tammy manages to free herself and defeats Deidre in a fight. Charles, who sensed something was wrong, tracked Tammy's location via her phone. Jay is safe. Deidre is sent back for further treatment. Tammy delights her loved ones with the announcement of her pregnancy. <laughs>